Hey guys, we got this flyer that says so, say no to um, I-522. It isn't what it seems. According to them, it would cost the taxpayers. Now, and, for, and, and I, to let you know what I-522 is, it's the labeling of GMO foods here in Washington State, which we've tried to do before. And of course, somebody always gets in the way. Now this, I know this is small and you probably won't be able to read it, so I'm going to leave it like this and read it to you. It says enforcing I-5, uh, excuse me, I-522 would require a whole new state government bureaucracy to monitor and regulate the working on labels of thousands of food products in thousands of stores statewide. A study by the Washington Research Council concluded that this would require about 200 new government employees at a cost of $22.5 million annually. Um, so, let's go over here. So one employee would make, two out of the 200 employees, 112, what, have, say this for me, Kenny. $112,500. All right, so you heard that, $112,000, $500,000 a year. Right? All right, here, we'll just do it weekly for me. I'm not really good with numbers. 112500 dollars. So there we go. Okay. Year. Correct me there. Here's week. Weekly pay will be two thousand one hundred and sixty-three dollars. Hourly is fifty-four dollars and nine cents. This is per these two hundred workers that we need to create. Now Kenny has made a a very bold statement here being an unemployed truck driver and needs a job real bad. Kenny, tell the state what you're willing to do. Oh hell, I'd do that I'd do that desk job for twenty four dollars an hour. There you go. Now we've just created another job. Do we have anybody else in Washington State that'll jump up and take a job for less than fifty four dollars and nine cents an hour? And that way we could create maybe four hundred new jobs and label the food. Uh, we could even do better than that. We could fire the sucker that said this, because let me go and show you who's backing him up. Well, I actually can't fire him because he's unemployed. It's this man right here. He's an ex-attorney general. His name's Ken Elkenberry. He's a former attorney general of the state of Washington. Now, I want to go down here and show you who's sponsoring this. This is going to be hard to see. Um, okay. Top con contribute or Contributors are Grocery Manufacturers Association, DuPont, Pioneer, Dow, AgriSciences, LLC, Monsanto, you're kidding, Monsanto Company, Bayer, Drug Science. This is who's lobbying against the I-522. I don't know if Washington State stands a chance. But I say this is all bullshit. And uh, look, we've already got one worker here that says he'll take half that. Or $2409. That's $30 an hour cheaper. There you go. He's going to go for $30 an hour cheaper. And I'm sure we could get some more people in Washington State to chime in. And that way we could get some of these unemployed workers here. There is no jobs here um, to work. And um, then they'd have to pay taxes. And... Uh, Gosh, they'd even have to enroll in Obamacare. Oh, God. That's a dreadful thought there. But, and nevertheless, we need to make this viral because this is really what they're insinuating. Do you know any state worker that sits behind a desk that makes that much money unless they're in with the empire system? Seriously, now. And this guy's backed by Bear, Monsanto, and all these big lobbyists. And they're going to send this in the mail with our tax day dollar dimes to us when nobody in their right mind would want genetically modified foods. Anyway, I want you guys to make this viral to let everybody know who's putting this out. Monsanto is now standing against Americans in Washington State, and we're the next state that could possibly get foods labeled. I want this to go viral. Please hit that remix button and make it go viral. Add to it if you want. And if you want to call, or it's got a, it says learn more facts about 522.com. So there, I just gave you their little thing of their little spill. I tell you, I would like to see what's in my food. Peace, love, truth, Linda's out.